Hello my friends, welcome back to Train Simulator Route Building Tutorial Part 3, 4, th 3, it's, it's 3, it's definitely 3. And I thought today, we're gonna add some hills, because you guys have been asking, I know how to put trees down, I know how to put track down, but they want to know how to place hills down and how to build like little hill inclines and then go down again. So that's what we're gonna be working on today. Now I've said this once and I'm going to say it again, if you are root building at all, then you you have to be patient with it because it's it's extremely hard and it's extremely buggy as well. Like if you make a little mistake and if you're trying to undo it, it won't actually work properly. So I'm just saying like, you, you've got to be patient with root building because it is quite complex. So what we want to do is we'll make the track go up in like a little, sl little slope if you will. So we're going to click on the little track thingy here. And then we're gonna. We, we, what we want is we um we just sort of like make the track a bit longer because this is sort of going into the station a bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it like a little curvy, uphilly thing as well. So we're gonna put it like right about there. Oh no, those are the that's the wrong track. Oh dear, that's that's not the track we want, Mr. Oliver. No, let's try this track and see if this is the track we're looking for. Ah, that's that is much better. I think. That will do. I think that that, that that will do fine. So what you want to do next is you want to click on this like this weird looking like liney thing that's going up in like in the different like at different degrees or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't want this called. But this is um actually I have no idea what this is. Okay, just I don't know what it is. But this is the little thing you got to click on, and then this little arrow. Oh god, let's click on it again. This little arrow should pop up, and if you hover over your tracks, there should be another arrow like this. Now I want the little inclined to start round about here so this is like a safety marker if you will so it's so that's there forever now and if we go back to this arrow if what we want to do is we want to click on it and then hold it down and then just drag your mouse up like so and then let go there we go now the track is going up in a little hill which is very nice i think we need to be a little maybe not too steep but we've got to make it a little. We've got to make it neater, Mr. Oliver, sir. Yes, we do. So let's click on that line and let's move this one up like so. Very nice. So I'm just gonna like. So I'm just gonna like neat it up just a little bit. I mean, you guys could play around with this as much as you want, but I'm, as I said, I like to do things neat. I'm I'm a neat person. So let's. I think we need to like start to straighten out the track now, don't we? So I think we'll have a little curve. I mean, I don't, I don't like just a straight line. I mean, I mean, the straight lines are cool, but they're quite boring. So it's quite nice to have just small little curves. So let's go back to where the slope sort of starts and then ends. So it's around about there, I think. So as I say, we just want to... just You can play around with this as much as you want, as I just said. But, you know, I like to keep things neat because I am a neat person. Like so. There we go. So maybe just a little bit more. Oh, that is much better. Perfect, Oliver. Mwah. Now, you're probably wondering, how am I going to make the ground sort of f follow the track? Now, that is actually really easy because what you want to do is you want to click on the little paintbrush um, picture. And then you want to click on this little thing that has like a little magnet on it. One of those like old-fashioned magnets you find in cartoons. And when you go to the bottom, you should see these like three little boxes. One of them is ticked for road. We'll untick that because we we're not we're not following roads. And this one is uh, the bricks. That's 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 the fences. But we don't want it to follow fences. So what we do is we'll untick that. We want it to go on the track one. So you want to click on the track box, and then let's make the circle thingy about thirty. And then what you want to do is you just want to click underneath the track, and if you can see, it's actually making a little. Healy thingy. I don't know what it's called. Like, um, the ground is just following the track. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm, as I said, I'm not very good at these route building tutorials. I just build routes. I don't, I don't make videos of them. Well, yeah, film it, Oliver. You do YouTube videos. Eh. So we'll do this to all of the bit of the track, like so. Uh, I think that might be, uh, I think that's long enough for our tutorial because we don't, we don't want to build like a proper full route. I mean, this is, this is just a little, this is just the basics, really. So now the heel side is actually by the track, so the tracks is not hovering in midair anymore, so that's that's fantastic. But if you want to do hills manually, what you want to do is you click on the paintbrush again, and you can either, there's, there's a lot of options here, I mean the one I prefer most of all, because I can control it, is clicking this one and at the far left, and then what you want to do is you click on the ground and you just drag up, or you just drag down. So you just click and drag and then let go, click and drag and let go, click and drag and let go, click and drag and let go. So if you wanted to do like hills and mountains manually, like this this is um 
This is how I do it normally. I mean, you could click on this one here next to it, and that will just, I don't know what actually does. Oh, yeah, I remember, but the speed of it is too slow, so we need to speed up the speed. Maybe have it at 3.3. There we go. Uh, this makes, I mean, you just hold and click and just like move it everywhere and this does it in a more like slower but neater process. But, you know, I, I, I mean, I like it, but it is too slow for me and, and plus, you know, sometimes it can get out of control. But if you want to make little holes, you want to click on the one next to it again and then just click. But that's going too slow, so we'll speed up probably to 8.3. There we go. Oh, look, that's going down on how really quick now, isn't it? Whee! But I want to get rid of all these hills now, so we don't need them. So what we want to do is we want to click on this thing uh, where it says level. So you click on the level um, thingy, and you just click and just drag all over the hills you don't want anymore. But it will leave like a little little mark on um, in its you know passing because. I don't know why he does that, but, you know, to get rid of that, all we have to do is click on the paintbrush, click on grass, click on the grass green, and just, like, cover it up. And you don't have to see any of those dirty rocks anymore. No, you don't. Ha <laughs> ha! So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to put another marker, because I think we should, um, because I've, I've shown you guys how to do stations before, so I'm not going to really film me building another station at the end of the line. So what we're just going to do is we're going to place another marker down. So we want to go into signals, and we want to go to the one that says marker. I think I showed you guys this in uh, part one, I think. I don't remember. Oh, it was such a long time ago. There it goes. So it goes marker, and we'll mark platform. So we want to go all the way over here to the end. Place marker down. Think about this big. Done. So now we have an end of the line. Yes. Now I think we should add like a like a bridge or something, and that's something that I'm actually um, really good at. Uh, weirdly, um, so in order to place a bridge down, you want to go to the house button. Well, think the house icon thingy. I don't know what you call it. Uh, and then you want to click on the one that says bridge. Well, it has a picture of a bridge. So you click on that. Uh, I don't know what kind of bridges they are, but you know they're, they're just just there's just loads. So if we like click on this thing, we probably should show some pictures hopefully. But this will make your game like lag, and hopefully it won't crash the game. Because I haven't actually saved this yet, have I? Um, let's have a look at this bridge. Um, oh, it's not a bad one, is it? Um, let's let's just keep looking. Let's just scroll down. Oh, oh, oh. I think I found something I like. Oh, that's a nice one, isn't it? Look at that, Mr. Oliver. I place that one down. Yeah, I like that bridge. I mean, this bridge looks like uh, it could have three tracks going. But, you know, uh, I'm not sure. What about this one? Uh, oh, yes. Now, that is a bridge I'm looking for. This looks like something from the Midhance Railway or something. But that is an old-fashioned train bridge that I am looking for. Yes, indeed, Mr. Oliver. And you probably look at this go, hold on, where are the sides? Where's the road? That is what I'm about to show you. So click on the paintbrush again. Uh, you can click on any, like, hill style you want. But, you know, as, as I said, I go for the simple one because it's easier to control. I go on this one where I, where I might make it a little bit smaller. And I just click and drag. I mean, I know that just looks like a big, massive point. But, you know, you can neaten it up. Click and drag, click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. That's what I normally do. This is what, this is what I always do. Just click and drag, click and drag. Or if you don't want to do it that way, you could, there's a much more easier way. If you click on the, the track and then go to roads, uh, let's see if I can find a good road. Ah, that'll do. So let me just make it like a, just a straight bit of road. Click on it, make it go up, move it across, and spin it round. Then move it over to the bridge. Perfect. Oh, yeah, that's, that is nice. That's a proper road bridge now. So just make it just a little bit long. So just road, 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 road. Oh, that disappeared. Road, 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 road. Then road, 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 road. Perfect. Now, using the same technique as I did with the tracks, uh, you want to click on the magnet, but this time you want to untick the track and then tick over the road um, picture. And then make it, uh, say, 40% big. And then just... There we go. See, this is a much more faster and a much more easier way, and more fun, believe it or not, uh, to do heels on roads and tracks and stuff. But mainly it's just way more easier and then just quicker. Just cover the, all of the roads up like so. Nearly there. Oh God, I might have made this just a little bit. I mean, might have made the road just a little bit too big. It was a bit bigger than I expected. But, you know, a little work of what you got. Oh, yeah. Now that is looking really nice. That's probably look, it's looking like a real heritage railway line now, Mr. Oliver. 
Now, there is a bit of a problem, because if I cover up the, uh, oh god, that bit doesn't look very well, does it? If I cover up this bit, it will just go right through the track. So what we want to do is we want to un undo that, don't we, Mr. Oliver? Let's undo that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, we need to find a solution to uh, sort of hide this bit, because this doesn't look like a normal bridge, does it? No, 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 no. So I think if you click track and then click on the one that looks like a pile of bricks, which is the fences, scroll all the way down and, then, and see I'm trying to find it. Wallstone 3D. Let's have a look and see. This might be a bit too big, but, you know, I'm always optimistic. Um, oh, no, that's actually, um, that's actually pretty small. Okay, that was the wrong wall. The wall I was actually looking for is this one. Bing. There we go, look at that. Now, that's the wall I'm looking for. So what we want to do is we actually want to make it quite long. So we've got about... I think that'll be uh, long enough. We just want to move it into position now, Mr. Oliver. Move it in, into position. I'm not very good at these root building tutorial thingies, guys. I'm sorry. Um, maybe I should just stick to, like, doing some train simulator races or something. I yeah. just want to move it into place so it's, like, the right height. There we go. Look at that. Now that's looking like a proper bridge. I mean, there's a lot, like, one or two rough edges. So what I want to do is want to click on it, copy it by clicking Control c and then... Pressing Control V, then click. Hey, there we go. It's popped in. Now again, you just want to like just neaten it up and just put it in the right position that you're happy with. I mean, it's going to be quite a little while. I mean, that's why, that's why I'm to make. They're making these root tutorials, Oliver. Root building tutorials. That's why I'm making them so people can see how I do them, not necessarily know how to actually make your own. I'm just showing you how I do. My root boot tutorials, because um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a very good teacher. Okay, I'm just, I'm just a bloke who plays video games. That's right. Okay, bridge is done. Now I have to admit there are one or two rough edges. It is a bit of a bodge job, but you know, it's, it's just, it's just a rough version. I'm just showing you guys how to do it. I mean, I can't spend all day just kneading up every tiny little bit of wool and brick together. I mean, that would take forever. So I just thought, you know, to do a little rough cut to show you guys how I do my uh, bridges and. It's a root building tutorial, Oliver. You need to get used to doing these things. But that looks much better, doesn't it? Now, I want to join the bridge up to these trees. So, let's go back to the world editor. Now, I have to remember, guys, always save your projects when you're uh, root building because it, you, the game could crash at any moment. So, you know, just be warned. Always save your uh, projects because you don't want to lose them. So, let's just copy and paste some of these. Because these trees are actually really nice. Because I actually like these trees. Because they're actually 3D models. So, that's why I like using them. I mean, I should use different trees, really. But, you know, eh, what can you do? So, let's pop some trees down like this. I could, like, speed this up in the edit. But, then you guys won't see me actually root building. No! So, I'm not going to speed this up in the edit. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to build while I talk to you guys. Because that's what a, that's what a, a tutorial person does. A tutorial person. I don't know what I'm doing now. Hmm. Just pop some trees down like so. I mean, I do like the big trees. The big trees are actually really cool. And then just copy these guys. Me, 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 me. Now, as I said before, you guys can play around with your like root building stuff. I mean, you. I mean, you don't have to make one exactly like this. I mean, this is just a little like idea and little inspiration for you guys to um to help you out in the future if you guys want to start doing your own root building. I mean, because root building is really, really fun, but it just it just takes a lot of a lot of time. So as I said, you know, you've got you got to be patient with it. But it's 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 it, it's it's really rewarding work. I mean I, I like to think so. So I'm gonna pop some gra grass down. Grass or grass or weeds and stuff. So I'll just pop some down like this. So just give it a little bit of extra detail because um, that's what we're all about right now, isn't it? We all like a bit of detail here and there, don't we, Mr. Oliver? So, oh, wow, this is looking nice, isn't it? This is looking like a real heritage line. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm really liking it. I mean, I'm not so sure about this gravel, though. I might change the color of that later on during the video or during the series. I don't know. Oh, but I'm really pleased with that now. So if you're standing here on a platform, that's what it looks like. <laughs> yeah! What I was trying to say, that this route turned out... Better than I was expecting. But we're going to do some more root building tutorial very soon, my friends. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Twitch. All the links are in the description. Follow me on my second YouTube channel as well. Link to that is in the description below. Not a very good YouTube channel, but there you go. It's there. If you want to subscribe, don't know. Don't care. It's up to you. And I hope you subscribe because we are very close to 60,000 subscribers. <laughs> yeah. Let's get to 60,000 subs. I don't know what that is. I don't know what I'm doing.
Go away, Oliver. You've got work to do. You want to edit this video. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> How about that for an experience? It's a flying train! Yes! Oh, she made it! Oh, I can't bear this! I might be an expert at these things. Sort of.